What's good, gang? Hope you're doing well. Hope this video is fine and you in good health. It's Cam bringing another video straight like that. Comment down below what you want to see in the next one. Like, subscribe, you brand new. And let's hop into today's video, man. So check this out, bro. Um, I don't even know how to start this, bro. Check this out. Whenever you log on to YouTube and you watch a lot of these self-improvement YouTubers, bro, you're always going to come across... You're going to come across the same thing every single time, bro. You're going to come across some clickbait titles. That's going to tell you how to date women, how to text women, how to get in the gym and be more productive and all that type of stuff, bro. And what you have to understand is that when it comes to self-improvement, that's extremely surface level and none of that really even matters at the end of the day. Um, there are things that are way deeper than that. And in order to truly find happiness, which is the root cause of self-improvement, the only reason you want to self-improve is because you really want to find happiness. You have to go deeper than that, bro. It's bigger than just women. It's bigger than just being rich. It's bigger than just generational wealth. It, it, it goes really deep, bro, right? And looking back on the content that I posted, bro, I realized I fell into the same trap because I thought that that was it, bro. You know what I mean? I, I thought, oh, you know, you just become a high value man. You get a lot of women, whatever, that are attracted to you. And then that's it. And you know what I mean? You make a lot of money, you get to the bag. But understand that life is bigger than that, bro. Your life is way bigger than that, dog. Life is is more than just, you know, having fun and being a high value man and everything like that, bro. Self improvement is bigger than that. And understand that a lot of these dudes, bro, they're teaching you these things which are good, right? It's good to be rich. It's good to to work hard and be productive and go to the gym, but these things ultimately are not going to really set you apart. These aren't really going to make you a top 1%, man. It's not really going to make you happy at the end of the day, bro right? Everyone is so concerned with being a high value man, high value man, bro. But what's the point of being a high value man if you're not really even enjoying your life, right? And that's not to say that you should just be lazy and stuff like that. But it means that we have to go deeper, bro. So long story short, I quit being a YouTuber that just keeps things surface level, bro. Like we really finna go deep. I know a lot of y'all have probably found me because I was talking about how to pick up girls or how to raise up girls and stuff like that. Man, I'm tired of talking about that, bro. I tried to make a video about girls a couple of days ago. My heart just wasn't in it. And I'm sure I'll drop a couple of videos here and there about women. But let's just be honest, bro. How much more can I say about female nature? I mean, all you got to do is be masculine. You know, don't don't try to make a girl like you. If she like you, she like you, bro. I mean, that's all that really, that really can be said at the end of the day. Don't chase. That's about it, bro. What more can I even say? But for those of y'all that's OGs, man... Y'all seen the growth, bro. Y'all seen the growth of where I came from and where I'm at now. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's like, I can't go back to talking about Riz tips and toxic tips and stuff like that because I'm just taking a step backwards, bro. I'm praying and hoping that a lot of y'all have grown with me and realized that life is so much bigger than just women. Life is so much bigger than just lift and get money. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> bro? Like, life is so much bigger than that. And if you're not at that level yet to where you're ready to really take a deep dive into this self-improvement stuff, bro, because there's deeper levels to this that people haven't even touched or uh, haven't even touched on or explored on this platform, bro. I'm going to touch on it, bro. I'm going to be the first one to touch on it for real. But if you're not ready for that, bro, then I suggest that you, I don't know, bro, you got to you gotta go somewhere else or just look at my old videos or something like that, bro. But um, with that being said, let's go ahead and get on with the video, bro. Now that we got all the logistics out of the way, I wanted to talk about how to really really improve your life how to really become a top one percent guy if you will how to really set yourself apart we have to break down everything that we know about self-improvement bro forget hitting the gym three five times three to five times a day bro forget all this other stuff forget becoming a high value man start with taking accountability and owning who you are and 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 realizing your flaws self-improvement does not begin with Oh, I'm just going to try and get better. I'm just going to add all these good habits. You have to recognize your bad habits first. And when I say recognize your bad habits, I mean really dive deep, bro. Dive deep. Admit to yourself that you have flaws, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, a lot of dudes have P-Hub addictions and you won't admit it. You probably have a P-Hub addiction, but you just won't admit it to yourself because you don't want to take accountability. But you really do. It's the same way how people that do... Like they, they weed and vapes and stuff like that. Oh, you know how many, bro, bro, you know how many kids in high school I knew that, bro, I'm not addicted to vapes, bro. You can't get addicted, bro. They're addicted because how we already graduated from college, my generation graduated from college, my class graduated from college and you still hitting the same Nick pan, bro. You still hitting a puff bar. Dude, you're 21, 22 years old, 23 years old, bro. And you still hitting the same puff bar as like six, seven years ago. 
but you wasn't addicted. That's what I'm talking about. We have to really start taking accountability, bro. And the way that we do this is by recognizing our flaws are because of us, bro. Understand that when God created us and put it on, put us on this earth, we didn't have anxiety. We didn't have depression. We didn't have none of this stuff that we claim to have, bro. We never had any of this stuff. You were not born flawed, bro. You were born perfect, bro. And we messed it up, right? And that's because sin is in the world, right? And that's not to say that everyone is going to be perfect, but we have to understand that our flaws came from us. We did this to ourselves, bro. You got to understand that. So, you know, when it comes to flaws, bro, I'll just admit some of my own. I'll admit some of my own. My biggest flaw is overthinking, bro. Overthinking has always been my biggest flaw. And it's led to anxiety and worrying and stuff like that, bro. I overthink to the point where, like, right now, a lot of y'all probably know I have a girlfriend, right? It took me a long time to trust, to be able to trust my girlfriend because I overthink all the time, bro. Things can be perfectly fine. And then in the back of my mind, like, well, what if things aren't fine? What if, and then I start coming up with scenarios in my head. Maybe she's cheating. Maybe she's doing this. Maybe she's doing that, right? And and, and so it was important for me to to face that. It was important for me to face that demon, for me to face that flaw, because if I didn't do that, understand that overthinking is one of the most dangerous things because you can lead yourself down a path of destruction. You can change your whole outlook on life, your whole life course, because you're overthinking. And I struggle with that, bro. And and, and overthinking has led to intrusive thoughts that I struggle with sometimes. Like sometimes I'll have an intrusive thought like, bro, all your friends hate you, bro. None of your friends like you. You know what I'm saying? And I still struggle to this day, bro. I don't want y'all to think that it's just I don't have these no more. Like, I still have these to this day, bro. I'm admitting these flaws. Sometimes I'll think, like, dang, bro, all my friends hate me. None of my friends really like me, bro. And a part of me knows that that's not true. But the fact that I just have those thoughts and then and then I worry about those thoughts and then I give credence to those thoughts and I think of scenarios and arguments that I might have and all this other stuff. And I just go down this wormhole, this rabbit hole, bro. And I can't let go of that intrusive thought, bro. I struggle with that. And that, that, that happens with a lot of different things, bro. And, I, and, and it's led to anxiety, bro. I have, I wouldn't say I have anxiety. It's dormant 99% of the time. Um, The last time I had a panic attack was, well, kind of recently when I had that, you know what I mean? I was in the ambulance because my heart or whatever, everything ended up being fine. But they told me I was about to have a heart attack or something like that, bro. So obviously I, I felt a panic attack coming on, but I've gotten so good at being able to face it that like I was able to calm myself down. Even I was able to calm myself down as I was in the ambulance before they even told me everything was going to be okay, right? Because I've just gotten good at it because I've dealt with anxiety in my entire life. So I got to the point where I could calm myself down even when I'm in the middle of an emergency. You know what I'm saying? And that's not to brag, but that's to show y'all how much I've struggled with this throughout my life. And it used to be so bad where I got panic attacks and I would hyperventilate. Um, but the real way that we self-improve is not by just recognizing this but by recognizing the root cause i know that the root cause of my anxiety came when i was like 11 i believe and i had to get on the plane for the first time i had a fear of planes and having to get on the plane brought about these panic attacks because i was thinking about it and i was overthinking and stuff like that that was my first that was the first time i can remember overthinking or ever having anxiety like that bro and since then you know i've had anxiety throughout you know what i'm saying and it's led to other 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 issues and stuff like that but that's not the only flaw i have obviously I, I fear things like i fear like bro planes i hate taking off on planes you know what i mean i hate shoot i'm, I'm lazy bro i mean a lot of y'all probably wouldn't believe it because i'm hustling on youtube but i'm extremely lazy if you give me a way out if you give me a shortcut i will take advantage of it i will take advantage of that shortcut bro i'm a lazy person um i mean i i i'm i'm, I'm, I'm messy but my room is not clean bro my room is not clean. I got clothes everywhere, bro. These are things that I have to fix and I have to deal with. The problem with a lot of these self-improvement YouTubers is they tell you they 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 tell you these worldly things. They tell you how to how to run away from the problem, bro. And you have to stop running away from the problem. If you really want to find happiness and find peace and joy, if you really want to improve your life, you can't run from these things, bro. Like if you keep watching the hub too much, you can't run from that. Stop Stop telling yourself, no, I'm not an addict. No, I'm not. No, I'm not, bro. Right? Stop, uh, stop. Oh, no, this is not a problem. Stop avoiding the problem. You have to face it head on. Admit to yourself, yep, I'm an addict, bro. Yeah, I'm this. Yep, I'm that. Admit to yourself the flaws, no matter how much it hurts. And think back on times where you first started feeling that feeling, bro. Right? Now, I know you can't always remember, but it's helpful to do this. It's helpful to do this so that you can see how your brain formed, how you started to do these things, bro. And really... 
and I'm going to be all the way real with you, bro. The way that you beat anxiety, depression, whatever flaws you have, bro, it's not by doing worldly things. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of, bro, people will tell you got to go to therapy and you got to take these pills and prescriptions and stuff like that. And all that can put a band-aid on it. But at the end of the day, bro, you have to self-improve using your soul, bro. Like that's, <laughs> see, a lot of people are going to not really understand this, bro, but you have to change your soul in order to self-improve because these things have built traumas in you, bro, right? Like, for example, like, it took me a long time for me to trust my girlfriend, not just because I overthought and had anxiety, but because I had trauma from past relationships, right? And the only way to get over that was not by just, like, watching red pill content and, and, and adopting that. No, bro, it wasn't by running away. I had to, like, really change my heart and my soul, bro, to recognize and understand, like, bro, I was very young, you know what I'm saying? Not only was I very young, but you know, the people that I was with in the past, I made a bad choice. I take accountability for it. I made the wrong choice and I'm not going to do that again. You know what I'm saying? But you have to understand that the real way to self-improve is to understand that God loves you. That is where everything comes from. Confidence, getting rid of anxiety, getting rid of depression. When you understand that God actually loves you, bro, then you're going to be loved at all times. Being loved is the most powerful thing ever, bro, because now you don't have a reason to really be anxious. You don't really have a reason to, 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 to feel depressed or nothing like that because you know you got somebody in your corner. Knowing that God, literally the most powerful being ever, the one that created you, your own creator, is in your corner, bro, that is invaluable bro like it's it's the most important thing because now you go through life recognizing that someone's got your back it doesn't matter if you lost all your family it doesn't matter if your house burned down you lost all your friends it doesn't matter what happened you broke up with your girlfriend divorced your wife you always gonna have somebody in your corner bro understand that and that is the most important thing and most valuable thing that you can that you can know not only that but you have to recognize that your words and your thoughts also have power and that you have control over this, bro. You have control over what you think about yourself. You have control over certain things, bro. Your voice is powerful, bro. Like this stuff really goes deep. Like understand that the flaws that you have are actually like demons, bro. Like de And when I say demons, bro, what I mean is you can speak these things out of your life. You can think these things out of your life. You have control. All is not lost. You are not doomed. A lot of people think, man, I'm doomed. I might as well just keep watching P-Hub because I've already been watching it. I'm doomed. I can't stop. You know what I mean? I might as well just keep overthinking. I might as well just never get married, never settle down, never get a girlfriend. I'm going to avoid love because it's just pointless. It's worthless, bro. But I promise you that you can face these things, bro. You have the power. You have the control. Understand that you've been blessed with this. The biggest lie from the world and from the devil is that you don't have control and that you need help from outside sources and that other people, you need. You don't need nobody. You don't need nobody, bro. It's you and God, bro. That's the ultimate duo, bro. You got to understand this. This is, this is how you should think about self-improvement. Not, oh, I'm going to just... I'm going to be super big and strong and I'm going to hit all my goals. Yes, it's important to have goals and stuff like that, but you really have to get back to the root. Get, let's get back to the basics, bro. How do we fix ourselves first? How do we get over all our flaws? How do we face them, right? And when we can do this, what we'll find very quickly is that our the quality of our life is going to increase. The quality of our life is going to increase. Our friends are going to increase. A lot of things are going to increase just by facing the flaws in our life right? Don't worry about getting rich. Don't worry about women. Don't worry about none of that. It's all going to come, bro. Just focus on fixing what you got to do, bro. Focus on taking accountability, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's that easy. It's that simple. All right. So from this point on, bro, I'm really finna be telling y'all like, this is going, this is high level stuff, bro. Like this is how to, all my videos is going to be pointing to how to find happiness, bro. How to find peace. And isn't that the ultimate goal of self-improvement, bro? Why would you want to be rich? Ultimately, what it boils down to, you want to be rich because you want peace. You want to be rich because you want happiness. You want women because you want happiness. So instead of finding these things through worldly material things that can always come and go, can't take none of it to the grave, let's find the real source of it, bro. Let's get back to the source. All right? So anyway, that's all I got for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I'm out of here. I love y'all. Peace.